We're going to be tying a simple and effective bait fish. Start this pattern, we'll grab some white 140 ultra thread, secure it tightly to our hook shank, and snip the excess furry. Continue wrapping back till you reach the bend of the hook and grab some white marabou. We'll measure this out to be a bit longer than our hook shank and secure it to the back of the fly. We'll then fold over the marabou, wrap our thread forward, folding the marabou back over and securing it to our hook shank. This step helps to keep the body of the fly nice and uniform while further securing the marabou. Once complete, We'll snip the excess furry and grab some silver hollow tinsel. Secure about eight fibers tightly to one side of our fly. Snip the excess furry and do the same with the other side. We'll now snip these to length, leaving them to be just a bit longer than our marabou. We'll wrap our thread forward to the hook eye, smoothing out the body as needed. Put in a three turn whip finish, and if you have a rotary vise, set your thread to the side. We'll begin wrapping our hollow tinsel forward to the hook eye. You want to do so in a closed spiral, making sure to cover up any of our thread below. Secure, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess free. We can then whip finish, cutting our thread free. We'll grab two eyes. I like to use red or yellow to add a bit of a hot spot. Add some UV resin to the side of the fly and place the eye on top of it. Secure with a UV light, doing the same to the other side. If you've ever been curious as to what resin I use, I prefer to use solar res as it cures tack free and doesn't yellow over time. We will then start to fill in our fly with UV resin and we'll start at the head of the fly. This is the most important part and you should take your time while doing so. Fill in the eyes, giving it a nice rounded shape, securing with the UV light once happy. We'll continue adding UV resin in small layers as it's easier to work with and creates a smoother finish. Now with the base, we will continue building up the head of our fly, keeping it nice and rounded. Once happy, we'll once again secure with a UV light and begin to work on our body, filling it in with UV resin. Once again, we'll start with small layers and build up as we go. Once we've laid a base, we will secure it in place and come back in with some more resin to build out the body. Now that we have a good base layer, we can use our rotating vise to help build up a body of resin. Secure it once happy and finish it off by adding a little bit extra to the back of the fly. And this is a version of a surf candy that I like to call the glass minnow. Some of you have asked if there's other ways to support the channel because you don't fish and I do have merchandise if you would like. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.